Welcome to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. Today we will demonstrate a high frequency PWM fan speed controller. The circuit is based on the 555 timer. The chip will generate the pulses with an almost stable frequency above the acoustic spectrum. Thus, there will be no acoustic sounds coming out of the fan. This circuit was originally designed to control PC fans with four wires. These fans, also known as PWM fans, are made exactly for this reason, to be controlled by PWM pulses. They have an extra wire, in my case it's the blue wire, that is called the control wire. The pulses are driven directly from the 555 to this wire. The PWM fans have internally a switching FET. The gate of the FET is actually connected to the control wire. All PC fans are equipped with an internal controller. You can learn more about this controller and the brushless motors if you follow the link that appears on the screen right now. The controller chips for these fans will usually have a so-called low threshold value. This is appreciated value by the manufacturer of the motor and it will prevent the motor to run at very low speeds to avoid the possibility of a fan stall. Some manufacturers have such a limit and some others don't have. Now let's see the circuit in action. The potentiometer will adjust the duty cycle of the pulses. On the oscilloscope you can see how the duty cycle is affected by the rotation of the potentiometer. As I rotate the potentiometer to increase the speed, I actually increase the period of the high level of the pulse. To decrease the speed, I decrease the high period of the pulse. Now I will switch the probe to see how the speed of the fan is affected. Due to the fact that this is a 4-wire fan, I can have a very clear RPM feedback from the hull sensor. The probe is now connected to the Tahoe wire of the fan. You can see the frequency of the feedback pulses on the screen. The frequency is shown on the bottom left corner and can be converted into RPM by multiplying this number with the number 30. By increasing the high period of the pulse, the fan starts to rotate faster and as you see, the frequency of the feedback pulses is increased. I strongly suggest to use a 4-wire fan if you want to control it with a PWM controller such as this one. You can use the circuit along with a PC fan failure alarm circuit and you will have yourself a complete, reliable and professional PWM fan controller cheaper than a packet of cigarettes. That's all. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit our website for more interesting circuits.